Good afternoon, everyone. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. It's puppy time. It's, they destroy my couch. I try, they knock pillows off, whatever. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my channel if you are brand new. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. And if you are a member, thank you for joining me and supporting the channel. If you are interested in becoming a member and helping to support the channel and not be so reliant on AdSense and deliver you more heavy content, uh, consider helping me out by clicking the link below on join. And also make sure if you're having trouble with notifications that you check out all of my social medias. I post links to all of the videos on my social media before I go live. All right, you guys. So it's been a uh, crazy week for Kale, and it's only Wednesday! Yay! So Kale Lowry is, she's got the history with guys, right? And she's got um, three kids um, with three different dads, which is, I don't judge, I do not care. A lot of, some people do judge, I don't care. Um, she's uh, been on Teen Mom for like ever, and she has been doing a podcast as well. And the last month or so, things have been kind of like falling apart. Um, she's been posting a lot more on Insta on Twitter about her mental health, um, about therapy, about taking care of herself. Um, her podcast went abruptly on hiatus in December, the last time the podcast Coffee Convos with her co-host Lindsay Chrisley actually recorded was December 5th or uploaded was December 5th. Nothing new has been posted since then. Earlier this week, her, uh, oh, Chris Lopez's baby daddy number three, her, his aunt, Heather, posted a sonogram of apparently Kale's fourth child with a due date of January or July 25th. Now, uh, Kale and the aunt went back and forth on Instagram, or on Instagram, Kale actually was in the comments below um, on the Teen Mom Shade Room, and eventually they were able to get the the aunt to apparently mm -hmm. take down the ultrasound, but she hasn't denied the fact that she might be pregnant. And Chris Lopez's father actually came out and s confirmed it to someone that contacted him that he was that she was also pregnant. So Kale hasn't denied it, which is typically. Um, if something isn't true, she is usually one of the first people to say, uh-uh, this didn't happen, but she hasn't denied it. Instead, she's been asking really bizarre questions on Twitter and sort of avoiding the topic and then posting cryptic stories on Instagram. Now, in addition to all of that, news has been circulating about Chris and the news hasn't been good. Um, in fact, it's news about multiple arrests for DV. Um, now, according to inmate records that I was able to find online, Chris actually has active cases and two arrests from this fall. As you can see here, he has multiple arrests here um, and cases with two separate incidences with case dates in, in March of 2020. There's also, um, so two separate inmate files essentially in stating that he had two separate arrests, which the Ashley says is from October. Now, over a couple days ago, an arrest warrant was made for him for a violation of criminal contempt for violating a, for violating a, um, what do you call it? Restraining order. So apparently there is a restraining order out against him by Kale and he violated the court, the, restraining order on the 13th, so Monday, um, according to the warrant. And no, I have not been able to find any inmate records or um, mug shots at this point for any arrests. So as far as I can tell, there has been no arrest made because when I go online, the warrant is still active. So the news isn't good, right? Now, this isn't wouldn't be the only time she's taken out a TRO. She's also had them out against Javi and Joe. So obviously people are critical. They are not sure whether or not this is like, should we buy this? Um, Kale herself has been known to get physical. She has been seen on the show um, punching Javi. So it's, you know, DV of any kind is never acceptable, but um, 
obviously fans have been a little bit critical. Like, is this her repeating her past mistakes? Or is this a completely different situation where Chris actually is the aggressor in this relationship? Either way, the news for her hasn't been a good one and she has been kind of taking a beating in the press as more and more people are reporting this. Um, which she really shouldn't be, to be honest, because um, if she is the victim of DB, it's nobody should be um, this. But the odd part is the, the otherwise open Kale about everything has been mom about this. Everything happened in December and when she, in October, and when she was at the Teen Mom 2 um, reunion, she simply said there was no co-parenting and alluded to the fact that Chris was taking care of himself and working on himself and not seeing Lincoln, uh, or not Lincoln, Lux. He also attempted to, like this year, also attempted to get rid of his parental rights, which a judge denied. So the Ashley was the first to report a lot of the details around the arrest. I was able to actually cor correspond and find the information online to verify all of what she was talking about. But it's interesting because she's usually pretty open about this stuff and she hasn't said a word. She didn't. She, she alluded to some issues on her podcast, but never said very much about it. So on Twitter, she says defeated. Y'all won. So it's interesting because I'm not, I don't know what, I don't know what she's talking about in terms of winning. Like, what did we win? And who is, who is trying to actually, um, like, who is challenging her? Um, and then there was this one from a couple days ago. Yesterday, has anyone here tried shock therapy um, with the risk? And then today, as soon as someone asked, is, I'm so missing copy con convo, is, is it coming back? And she said, as soon as we come to a settlement. Now, in December, they said that they couldn't film the podcast or record the podcast because of legal issues. Um, but now she's saying as soon as we come to a settlement. So some people figured, like this person said, I figured the Chrisleys are suing you. Maybe now you'll keep your uneducated opinions to yourself, including about vaccines. And she says, suing me for what exactly? Come up with a better reply next time. But a settlement would imply some sort of mediation or lawsuit of some sort, but the it's unknown who she's talking about. And it's interesting that she would say that, being that she probably shouldn't be talking about it. But other, I digress. And then she's been talking about therapy a lot. I just left therapy and stopped in the bathroom only to realize my pants were on backwards. So that's basically where, where my life is at. And then someone said that therapy is good. And she said, I've been going for months and I agree. And then she's been talking about traveling, like going to Bali, going to Iceland. Um, and then this person says, what the hell about shock therapy? And she says, I'm willing to try anything. Um, I can't get to therapy fast enough. I need my appointment time to be here ASAP. And then random questions about Invisalign and veneers. She seems to go to Twitter for just about all her life decisions, which is sort of weird to me. I don't, whatever. And then these cryptic posts on Instagram. Remember the time, the thing you thought you couldn't do? Surprise yourself with this one too. During your transformation, you might feel like everything is falling apart, but it really, everything is coming together for your highest good. You're being pushed to evolve and to get out of your comfort zone so you can live and experience your true greatness and welcome change. And then I'm trying to make it through this day. And that was on the day that the news broke about the pregnancy. So I don't know what we win here. Like she hasn't admitted anything. Um, but why is she talking about like us winning? And why is she talking about shock therapy? Um, and why is she like not addressing the rumors? I mean, I get it. If it's an ongoing legal case, you might not want to talk about it. But... The I defeated like y'all won kind of thing implies as though she has been beat up in the press, which I don't really think she has been. Um, I don't know if people on Twitter are being ultimately rude to her, but I see a lot of support too in the comments to her on her Twitter. Um, is she talking to Chris? Is she talking to uh, Chris? Is she talking to her fans? Is she talking to her haters? What is going on? Now, whatever is going on with Chris, he's got two court cases that he's going to for two arrests, 
an active warrant. Things are not looking good for Mr. Christopher. And that begs the question is like, what actually happened in October? And, and if she would be due in July, then she would have gotten pregnant in October. Meaning, did this altercation with Chris happen around the same time as the hookup with him that ultimately got her pregnant? I have like so many questions and she never talks about him. And it could be because their relationship has so many issues, maybe because he's, um, they have this violent relationship, who knows? But I feel like she's been withholding a lot of things from her fans about him. Um, maybe that's finally catching up to her. It's so hard to know with her. Obviously people have been critical about her being pregnant because this would be the fourth, fourth baby. She doesn't have an actual, you know, like all single on her own, which again, no judgment, but people are questioning whether or not this is a good decision being that she has stated repeatedly that she's not in a good place mentally. There's just so many questions I have here and I don't know what to do with it. So I thought I'd share it with you and let you weed it out and talk about it. And yeah, so we'll see what happens. And then yes, as, um, as, Princess Jume points out she also has been pointing clickbait about Amber. Go figure. So what do you think? Why is she defeated? What happened with this arrest? Is it real or is it like going to be like the another time where with Javi and Joe she's the actual aggressor and she drops it or is this actually different? Like what is going on? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below before we go. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it and make sure you subscribe yet if you have not. And also ring the bell, which turns notifications on and you know when I go live. All right, you guys, I'll be back later.